Radical. I agree with you, Cundizzle. I'm also 100% against, I'm against what has happened. I hate that it happened for this person. But I also agree with you, Cundizzle, when I say there's all these legitimate charities out there that deserve donations more than this person for their bike. I mean, are we getting to a situation to where YouTubers are going to have wrecks, they're going to have things stolen, and while sad, are we going to have situations to where YouTubers set up these GoFundMes for, I mean, bikes? And we're not talking about situations to where maybe someone doesn't have, a, let's say they, they are stricken or maybe a loved one is stricken with a rare disease and it's not covered under their insurance or something like that. Or let's say an elderly couple, let's say an arson comes by and sets fire to their house. Like I've seen some actual legitimate GoFundMes that actually you look at them and you're like, okay, but, but where is that line is an interesting discussion is where that line is. And I don't think this is the kind of thing that he should be doing. And maybe that's why he took that upload down or privated it. Maybe he now realizes that, oh, maybe I shouldn't be, you know, hitting up my own audience to give me donations because of this thing that happens with my bike. Now, if this is an isolated incident, I would say, okay, you know, he's probably just like, my bad. You know, I didn't really think about actually how it would look. It's a bad look to be, you know, e-begging for money online and getting donations, you know, just to fix up or replace my bike or whatnot, what have you. Now, if it's a special item, if it's a rare item, I don't know how money and donations is going to help. Like how would money and donations help to, I mean, is the idea that they're going to buy him a bike just like that? It's a, it's a rare bike. I, I don't understand that. It's uh, you know, like if they're looking for the bike, did they find the bike? I don't know. But how is how is YouTube donations and a GoFundMe going to help a matter that's supposed to be between him, the police, and the person that stole the bike? And there was a question he was actually asked, I saw in that uh, comment thread, is, hey, did you have insurance? Was it insured? Which is a, a valid question. It is a valid question uh, in any of these situations. Whether it's this, whether it's the Metal Jesus Rocks basement leak, you know, any of this stuff is, was there insurance? Uh, uh, he's had a bad year. He has. I think he had his car damaged and whatnot. But I, I'm failing to see. I'm failing to see why a person that, again, has a some kind of a business partnership with Mr. Beast of all people... Why should this Elliot guy think people should give him donations for this bike situation? It's one thing entirely if, you know, you want to talk about your bike situation to your friends, your family, your loved ones. But when you get on YouTube that you're using as a professional business platform because, you know, you're taking donations from people. So is the donation supposedly for your channel and your content? I know in your Patreon, they say, you say that the donations on your Patreon is supposedly to go right to your channel and to buy games and stuff for your channel. Okay, fair enough. But you got to see, Elliot, when you have all these sad uploads, it might have that, uh, might have that um, effect of people donating to you because of these sad instances and not because of your content. Okay. So even if you want to, you know, e-bag, even if any of you YouTubers want to e-bag, what's key here is to keep your personal life out of it and just upload the content and keep your personal life and the things happening out of it because you're going to have this situation to where people Maybe they don't want to donate to you and they don't think your content is good enough to donate to, but you know what, what might push them over the edge and help them donate to you is your car's messed up. It's wrecked. 
you get your bike stolen, you keep showing your house, how much work you have to do left on your house. I mean, you got to know, Elliot, you have to know. <laughs>